Today what I'm going to share with you are five things that you can do that add some distance to your drive so you can have some fun too when it comes to walking up to the tee box. Number five. Number five has to do with the grip. Now, as we get a little bit older, and one of the core concepts of the vertical line swing, all right, and in the book, The Bad Lie, that we talk a lot about is a lead hand grip that's a little bit stronger. Now, what does strong mean? Well, if you just look, if I just took my lead hand right here, okay, the more I rotate it on top this way, that's what we consider stronger. I can see one, two, three, four knuckles. The more I rotate it this way, that would be weaker. I can't see any knuckles. Now, in the vertical line swing, we promote a slightly stronger grip, which would be two to three knuckles. So the first tip I want to give you, number five, is that when you grip the golf club, I want you to see two or three knuckles on your lead hand. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important because it helps you square the club face. All right, so as I'm set in here from the face on view, as I look down, I want to see, so this would be weak, see that? Okay, high right, no power. This is going to be a little bit stronger. Let me go ahead and just hit one here. Got it teed up. Okay, that was pretty solid right out of the chute. Number four, ball position ball position. Now we've done a ton of videos on the science of the swing and all the different types of things and how you want to hit up on the golf ball, but the most important thing is getting the ball in the right spot. So when you're set in there, what I want you to do is take your feet and put them together. Simple concept. This will get you dialed in every single time. Simple concept. Ball right here in the center. I'm going to take my lead foot, which is my left foot, and move it towards the target just barely. I'm talking like an maybe one, two inches, and then the vast majority of my width is going to be with my trail foot moving back. Everybody see how I did that? So feet together, ball in the center, little mini step, and then a big step. Now this is going to get the ball now positioned more forward in my stance, so it's going to allow me to come in contact with the golf ball as the club is traveling slightly up. All right, and what I will tell you is this, is at the end here, I'm going to share a real golden nugget with you, one that I have used for literally 20 years that has helped people with their driver all of the time. The other thing I got to do is I got to ask you where you're from. You know that you never get out of a video without telling us where you're from because Nick and I and the whole team, we love hearing where everybody's from and hey, do me a favor, subscribe and ring the bell so help us out a little bit. All right, here we go. Number three in tips and things that we can do to increase our club head speed is more hip turn more hip turn. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm set in here. I've got tip number five, a little bit stronger grip. I've got tip number four where the ball is a little bit forward, but on the back swing, I want you to turn your hips more. So see how my belt buckle turns and rotates back towards Nick and the camera. Everybody see that? Okay, so this is a good thing. This would be bad. Let me go ahead and just hit a shot. And I'm going to go a little slower, and I want you to watch the hip movement. Here we go. I got a stronger grip, I got the ball a little forward, I'm going to really get those hips turned. Ooh, that max, <laughs> that max bird is hot. That thing popped off the face. You see that? Hopefully you saw that. I got some more hip turn, because when you get more hip turn, you get more length to your swing. And I don't know about you, I mean I don't consider myself, I don't consider any of us old. You know that. We're experienced, right? We are experienced golfers. We're not old golfers, but the flexibility that I have today isn't the same flexibility that I had at 23, all right? But by turning my hips more, that gets me more length to my backswing and allows me to be in a good spot. Tip number two, we're going back to the setup. We're going back to the setup. Remember how we talked about how we wanted to hit slightly up on the golf ball and we did that with ball position? We're now going to do it with our body. So when we're set in here, here we go, grip, right? Proper ball position. Now watch my shoulders, irons, driver, irons, driver, okay? You go, let me go, let me just, I want to make sure you're noticing this. Irons, see how they're level, driver. See where my hip went? My hip bumped and my shoulders tilted, all right? Now, what this is going to do is it's going to set my body up to not only hit up on the golf ball, but listen to this one, help you swing more from the inside. Let me say that again help you swing more from the inside. And what happens when you swing the club more from the inside? Nice high draw. One of the core concepts of the vertical line swing. We covered in the book, the bad light, all that stuff. So let me, I got to hit another golf shot before I give you this last tip and then that gem that I promised you that I shared with you. So here we go. I got my grip. 
I've figured out how to get the ball in the right spot. I've got my tilt. Now I'm going to really turn my hips. Oh, oh man, they're getting better and better every shot, Nick. That thing was hot. And I don't even feel like I'm swinging hard or trying to swing fast, but because I've got those concepts, I'm picking up some club head speed. Now, tip number one. Tip number one has to do with one of the all-time great golfers, Arnie Palmer. Huh? Has, has anybody ever, did you ever get a chance to watch Arnie play golf in, you know, live or in real life? If you did, tell us about it. Where was it at? I got to see him really late in his career. You know, he's already in his 60s, but he was a legend, a legend. And one of the things we always remember about Arnie is he kind of had that slashing swing, right? Where he just slashed it. But what I always remember when I was a little kid and I watched him play for the first time is his finish. And he had this finish where the handle right here, you can see it right there, VLS Golf, see that right there, the handle is high, all right? And so many of us, and this might be you, when we finish our swing with our driver, we have this really low handle finish. Looks like this, low handle. That's not how Arnie did it. Arnie had the high handle. So tip number one, the really great tip is to do what Arnie did. Let's tie this together, and then I got one more thing I got to share with you here. We're learning some stuff, man. All right, so here we go. I got a stronger grip. I got the ball in the right spot. Okay, I got a little tilt. I'm gonna get some hip turn, and I'm gonna give it the Arnie finish. Here we go. Hip turn, Arnie finish. Oh, even that, I hit a little bit off the toe, but I had the high finish and the nice high baby draw. Now, I promised you I promise you I'd give you one golden nugget here at the end. And if you're still here, thank you. It's gonna be worth your time. This, I don't know why this works. I don't know why it works. If I did, I would patent the dang thing, but it works. All you're gonna do right here is you're gonna hover the driver. So when I'm set up, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the driver and I'm just gonna hover it just slightly above the ground. Everybody see that? Now that's one of the reasons why we put it right here on the, on the driver, right? We put that little impact, impact spot right there, the hex flex we call it right there, so that when golfers, when they work with us and they're doing the vertical line swing, we tell them, all right, take the hex flex and just line it up with the golf ball. Everybody see that? So normal, and I just raise it slightly. Now, why does that work? Well, here's my theory, is when the club is elevated, slightly, you're holding it, you're bearing the weight. When the club's on the ground, I don't even have to hold on to it. But when it's up in the air, I'm bearing the weight of the club in my hands, and that weight smooths out my takeaway. So let's go, let me tie this together. Here we go, I got the ball forward a little bit. I got it hovered, I got my tilt. I'm gonna hip turn and I'm gonna Arnie Palmer finish. Oh, I put a little speed into that one for you, Nick. That one has some pop to it. Hey, if you liked this, you gotta check out my other video where I literally added 20 yards to Claire's drive by simply one little adjustment in her stance. It was crazy good.